What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Harrison, and uh, I'm going to show off some new footage for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now, this comes directly from the the Japanese Nintendo website, uh, so not necessarily a new trailer, but just some new footage, some kind of expanded scenes on what we've kind of seen already, but I thought it was really cool. So I'm going to let that portion of the video play, and then I'll go back over and play it again and uh, kind of pause it and do some... Uh, some analyzing and, and kind of give my thoughts on it. Now, this does come. Uh, I did not discover this footage on my own. This comes from another channel, Zelda Rush, that discovered this video. Um, I did record the footage myself directly from the Nintendo website. So this is not this person's footage, but I will have uh, a link in the description below for their channel. So go give them um, a subscribe and, and watch their video because uh, I'll probably have some different points than then what I'll make, but uh, without further ado, let's get started. All right, start of the new footage here. We get a good look at the what we think is the uh, a dungeon from the game, potentially, or or some sort of temple or something like that. We get a good look at the, the cube in the background. That's a, That's been in a lot of the previous trailers. A lot of people speculate that that is the labyrinth from Breath of the Wild. That's just been raised up in the sky. Uh, but looking down at the, the bottom here with the little pedestal that Link is standing on, um, it looks an awful lot like the glider that has been showed off in previous trailers. Maybe you stand on, because it also kind of looks like a like a it's like an indentation or like maybe um, like a like a button or something that once you stand on it, it presses down and maybe this area transforms into the the glider that we've seen and, and maybe you can use this to get around a little bit farther um, than you normally could with your your standard glider um, so yeah I think that's I think that's definitely a possibility but again we hit we have no idea then another shot of link jumping off and then the camera is going to raise up just a little bit and we get a really good look at all of the sky islands that are in the game. I'm gonna go back a little bit and do a little bit better job of pausing, but we get a, look, a good look at the bottom here. Um, we see maybe some some potential shrines down there. Um, I don't know if there's a big confirm of the game yet, but yeah, just look at all these sky islands. I mean, this game, I mean, I've said it before, where this game just looks like it's gonna be massive between the sky, the surface, and then the, the underground stuff, it, it just looks really crazy from all the stuff that we're going to be seeing. Then we get another good look at go back up just a little bit. Another good look right here. We get it. We get a, a long view of the the castle floating in the sky. So, you know, we don't really know exactly when this. This scene takes place. Um, my from my understanding, I thought the castle was going to be a lot higher in the sky. So maybe maybe getting to the castle isn't necessarily the the in like game like it is in Breath of the Wild. Um, you know, maybe, maybe it's just floating there and, and maybe you just can't you just can't get to it. There's there's too much malice around it that it won't let you get there. So maybe maybe the goal of the game is actually to just get get into the sky and see how far you can get up there. I've seen a bunch of different theories on there. Um, but, uh, but yeah, and then we, and then we get to the right here, we get a good look at, um, some sort of like maybe a lookout tower. It's got some like lights protruding from it. So I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, maybe it's, maybe it's another lookout tower that they had in Breath of the Wild, but I'm not quite sure. And then we, we get some, a good look at the, the hieroglyphs, hieroglyphs on the bottom left hand corner here. Um, they look like Zonai glyphs. I'm not quite sure, obviously what they're going to be doing in the game. Um, we'll, we'll find out when we, when we get our hands on it, but just another good look at that stuff. And, you know, just another good look at the world again, just again, just so, so massive. Then we've seen some stuff like this already before. And yeah, that, that's all the footage. It was very quick. I, I love, I love the, 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 the platform here. I just want to briefly talk about it. Just. A lot of people are speculating. My, my theory is I think that the higher you get, less gravity is going to uh, go into effect. That that obviously makes sense with with real world physics. 
Um, some people thought maybe like moon boots or something like that, or uh, may maybe these are just, you know, anti-gravity like boulders or, or platforms that, that give Link that weird kind of uh, anti-gravity jump that he's got and the moon jump, if you will. So, yeah, that, that I hope you guys enjoyed that footage. I thought it was really cool. And uh, again, go go check out the other channel that I'll have linked in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'll let YouTube algorithm pick one of my videos below for you guys to watch. Give it a give it a click and I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next video.